Paul Schmidt, and Paul Schmidt is here to tell us about a new initiative that's called Made in Lansing. Now that's a familiar name because the Lansing Historical Society had Made in Lansing as an exhibit not long ago. So what is Made in Lansing all about? This well, is a different Made in Lansing. <laughs> right, well actually, um, uh, we we kind of call it Lansing Made. Lansing uh, Made. Uh, okay, so, that's how. Okay, all right. So it's uh, it's more of like a, uh, a movement or an attitude towards positivity for the people, uh, places, businesses, and events that happen in and around the metropolitan Lansing area. So um, I've seen the hashtag on Twitter that says Love Lansing, where you mm -hmm. put the pound side, Love Lansing, and that sort of caught on with people who share good news about the community. Are, they, are we now starting to use the hashtag Lansing Made the same way? Are we trying? Is it a, an effort to promote the good things that are already going on? Well, it's, uh, you can use the hashtag Love Lansing, but what this is is a little bit beyond that. It goes beyond that. Okay. It goes into folks that, have, uh, that live here, are part of the community that go and see out what's cool what's happening um, you know who's behind it and uh, how is this impacting our community at large from you know the what we call the greater Lansing metropolitan area so I know Malik Brown is also involved in this initiative yep. is it a promotional where people can go and see a calendar of events well no it's not much of a calendar of events as much as we are more or less covering what's happening out there. So where we, would they find the information? They can find it online. We are on all the social networks, Lansing Made on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, okay. and uh, you know, and as well as our website, LansingMade.com. And we post videos and look, uh, look for j just cool things that are happening. We're just like more of a hub of the positive uh, energy that's going on in this area. We've seen various initiatives in the community. There's been the Lansing Capital Gains has a website that talks mm -hmm. about good news related to business. How does yours differ from some of the other initiatives that are already going on in the community? Well, ours is more, uh, I believe, more spontaneous. In fact, we are not on, on, a, on an editorial calendar, but we're more or less uh, in conjunction with uh, what Capital Gains does. And I believe that, you know, uh, what we do is we just you know see something and just have the ability to just go and talk about it and talk to the people. I took a look at the kind of map that you talk about for the area that you cover. So you go south as far as Mason, right? Mm -hmm. And then what are the other parameters of the communities that you sort of cover? Uh, the four points would be St. John's to Mason, uh, Grand Ledge to Williamston. That's the that's the areas we we kind of call our own our own Lansing made metropolitan area. Yeah. What's some of the good news that you've had recently that you've reported on, things that people need to know about? Well, we, we covered and talked to the actors and directors of uh, Harold and the Boys when that was here um, last month. Uh, we just uh, talked to um, uh, the Women We Are exhibit with the Mandic Reshop. That's, and she's having a forum coming up on Thursday night. Tell uh, me a little more about that. Well, it is a, it's a photo exhibit, um, uh, really explaining uh, uh, or really showcasing uh, women's bodies and, and not being um, afraid to talk about that. And hmm. then she's having a, uh, an exhibit. Um, she has an exhibit right now at uh, AA Creative Quarter in Rio Town, but uh, she's having a panel discussion on Thursday evening. Oh, okay. So you kind of curate the community. It's more of a curator role. You... It is, but I mean, we basically, like I said, it's it's more of a spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is cool. Let's talk about this. Or, um, like, we'll be having a piece coming out about the the Junior Vixens, um, which are the the high school arm of the Lansing Derby Vixens roller derby team. Oh, junior team. roller derby. Yep. Hey, and, uh, the season crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the season for. starts next month, and so uh, we're gearing up for that. So we just did a, you know, um, a piece on them that's going to be coming out soon. And, uh, yeah, and so that's what we try to do. I mean, we're not trying to overtake anybody. We're just trying to add some positive energy in a positive way. One of the challenges in the community really is finding out all the things that go on. Um, I mean, even on campus, I'm always stunned that I find out like hours in advance that there's somebody coming who's going to be speaking right across campus. I'd love to hear them. I wish somebody would curate what's going on on campus because I'm I always in that same opinion. You find out about it 
Oh my God, it was yesterday. Right. It's too bad I would have liked to have gone to that, but it's hard to find out about it beforehand on campus. I picked up three campus. flyers of events that occurred last week. Yeah. Yeah, that was not too great. So it's very hard. Who gives mm -hmm. you the information on the various events that you report on? Well, uh, we just research and hopefully we get to it um, in a timely manner. We try to make things uh, or try to get information out before things happen, but there are some times that we just try to hit things up when we can. So you're not covering news, it wouldn't... Uh, is, is most of your coverage uh, video driven or is some... I would say a lot of it is video driven um, and that's you know and that's that's on purpose that's purposeful um, and so because video really speaks and you know it's able to be uh, attributed to mobile and, you know the social media sphere you know that type of thing that's what people relate to and they like to see if we're going to talk about the positive aspects of Lansing let's hear the voices let's see the faces what's is there something you could tell us that's positive coming up this week <laughs> or toward the end of the week? Is there anything that's caught anybody's eye? Well, well, well I just mentioned the Women We Are yeah. panel. Mm -hmm. That's coming up at the end of the week. But, you know, coming into, um, uh, you know, end of March, like I said, the roller derby season starts. There's that. There's also um, in Rio Town the Thrift Store Gala that's coming up. Um, what so is that called? Uh, the Thrift Store Gala. Oh. And so... That's coming up. St. Vincent de Paul, that kind of thing, Volunteers um, of Actually, this is, this is uh, something um, from the Rio Town Commercial Association that they've, this is only the second year that they've done it. I haven't gotten a lot of information um, on, on what they're doing this year. And so. Now, would something like this qualify? And I'm not trying to pitch anything in direct, but last year uh, I was at an event in Moores River Park. Uh, to me, that park was a pretty amazing gathering place in the summer. I haven't been down, I used to live down in that area, and since we moved, I hadn't been back there in a while, but it was really fun to see how that park has attracted so many people. It's pretty unbelievable on a summer, or not even summer, early spring it was, and it's just, there's a lot of things going on there, people fishing and biking and skating and picnicking and just have, they bring their kids there. That's a true great neighborhood park that I don't think people realize in Lansing. Of course, maybe they don't want it known, but is that the kind of thing that you might get involved with? Absolutely. I mean, that is right up the alley of Lansing made because it not only is a historical aspect of what the city is about, but people still gather, congregate. I mean, my wife and I go there all the time, and yeah. you know, and it's, it's, it's a great place to bring your dog or bring your kid for the, the pool, and you know, it's just, it is, it is, uh, Exactly. Yeah, I one thought of the stories we when would I take. saw it and saw the kind of the drama that was going on. It's one of the most underrated parks in Lansing. There's more people there during the week than there ever are in Riverfront. Really? Absolutely. There's nobody ever down here. So that's a real neighborhood park. Oh, it's it, and it's a great park. It's got the grittiness of a you what? know because you see the the, the towers, uh, you know, the power towers mm -hmm. sitting there, and people fishing on the dam, and I mean it's a real neat. The river is beautiful. City right park. Yeah. Yeah. It's got great parking. I mean, I, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. Well, you know, I have some students in my advanced journalism class, and one of the things that we did this year is we've been um, looking for beats where students can cover is we've put some, uh, a team in Rio Town, and we put a team in the East Side neighborhood, and, you know, so, I mean, it seems like maybe we could collaborate a bit and get some students to help you with some of the trying to get the information out, because it's hard to know where to look. And uh, do you use social media primarily? Is that where you think most of your people are finding it? Absolutely. I mean, it get, well, not only about, it's about engagement as well. What, yeah. How you feel about Lansing. What are some of the things ah. that you uh, like about what's going on in this area? And also the collaboration with the students because you have this, the schools here. And we'd like to hear some of those stories. What is it you see about Lansing, you know, as, as you come here, if you're not from here? Um, you know, we're really... Lance, pro Lansing and well, so I think this is just my observation because I'm on the historical society but I see a lot of younger people really taking pride in Lansing and looking for things that are interesting to them I mean when we get 70 people out to do an alley tour in the summer I mean right. you know it's like oh my god look at these people are des not desperate they're driven eager. they're eager to learn and have fun it's 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 
there's a little different atmosphere than there was five years ago. See, I maybe the crime's up, but there's something else going on here that's different. It really is different. Well, I mean, that's that's the thing is, I mean, my wife and I moved here five years ago. Hmm. We're not we're not original Lansing hmm. Heights, but we moved here. And when I moved here and met and talked with great people, they said, uh, well, you know what, Paul, you moved here at the right time. And I feel that way. And I feel the energy and I like the history. And, and I think that that's what's really, uh, what really, what Lansing Made is about, is about, it's not just about the things, it's about the people. The thing I've always liked about Lansing, as I always say, is you can make your own fun here. I mean, it's not like in Manhattan. Bill and I talk about the fact that people were saying, how did you get the radio show going? Well, we just asked. <laughs> And we raised was, our hand. <laughs> there was no one in line. <laughs> if we were in you Manhattan, could do, there would have been... You could do anything here. Yeah, you could anything do anything you want. here. If you want to do something, you could start doing it. And one of the things that's really changed, Bill and I have talked about this too, I mean, they have such a loyal following online on Facebook from the... I mean, that is really society, where the, yeah. the historical society... That's where mm -hmm. the, the action is. Social, it isn't on the website anymore. No, social media. Social yep. media is where it is uh, where it is at. So if oh. that's what you're focusing on, that's where... Oh. Absolutely, and just to... Uh, tag on to that. I I follow the Greater Lansing Historical Society on Facebook. I'm I learned so too. much yeah. on there. Excellent. It's like if I was just talking to somebody this week about uh, that was looking for sites that might have been speakeasies. Oh, cool. I knew a few. Wow. Everybody might know a few, but I yeah. said, you know what? At some point, we'll put it on the Facebook. Yeah. And everybody will come forward. And some of it's just not accurate, but you can sort it out at least. But you can mm -hmm. identify things unimaginable. Yeah. And photographs. You, of, you know what shocked me too is you do get younger people there. It's not oh, just absolutely. it's not a, just a, no. you know retirees. I think a lot no. of people think that the people interested in history are people who've lived here forever. But we had somebody that was nineteen today helping us set up our exhibit. Is that right? From MSU. Nice. Oh, wow. a college nice. sophomore. I mean that tells you something. Yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. how do you do you reach out to other nonprofit groups too so that they tell you about their calendar and if I were looking to find out what was happening in Old Town is yours the place I would go? Oh no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, I mean it's we what work, strikes your Yeah, we just more. work in conjunction uh, with whomever and we try to find as many cool stories as we can. Oh. And that's 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 just basically what we, what we like to do is just flesh out flesh out something. Mm -hmm. Something, you know, you may have glanced at or saw but we might be able to go in depth and talk a little bit more with folks if we if we look at it and be like, hey, that sounds like something really cool. Do you use gear from the Lansing Public Media Center? Is that part of what you do? Well, actually, we uh, we use a company called Introduce Multimedia, which is a video company in Rio Town. That's based. That's actually my my oh, my you company. Do video. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so um, so yeah, and so Malik talked to me about that, and we just grab somebody and do some run and gun journalism. Because I am really persuaded that that's where it is. I mean, I really enjoy it myself. I run around with my video camera all the time. Absolutely. And I only have about, <laughs> what do we figure, Bill, five, six years worth of video backed up that I haven't edited yet? Yeah. <laughs> that's that the only happens. danger, isn't it? Yes, that yeah. is where the time comes <laughs> yeah. in. Absolutely. It's fun to shoot it. Yeah, yeah, you got all this stuff. All right, now what? Yeah. Yeah. So, so where are you located in Rio Town? Next time we go down there. Rio Town, we are located at eleven forty six South Washington. Okay, what's it? It's a it's it's a upstairs from the new New Horizons Learning Center. Oh, I know where it is. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Right above. Uh, that's, that's where. That's an our, interesting community. That's I like it. It's, to, yeah, it's got a good feel. We did a historical society. Did a walking tour down there last summer, and mm -hmm. it was a nasty hot day. We had fifty, sixty people. Yeah. And it's not too. It's not totally developed yet so there's a lot of kind of yep. gaps and things. It's getting there. It's getting it, there. It was fun. We really had a good we time. We need more places like that. I mean I mean yeah. I think a lot of people thought well we would just expand Old Town now but in reality having these places around the community that are it's pretty dramatic what's happening in Rio Town hotspots. in a couple of years. It's yeah. really dramatic. Absolutely. I've been down uh, I've been located there for about three years just over three years three and a half years and so I've seen that change dramatically in Rio Town. And visual storytelling is so important nowadays. Everybody Absolutely. needs to be able to tell their stories, whether it's a nonprofit or a commercial enterprise, that kind of thing. That's the only way we pay attention anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. I was just looking the other day, I would urge people, I have, at, at 70 years old, I wasn't, needless to say, one of the first people to get Snapchat, but I did break down and put Snapchat on the other day because they've <laughs> now got a great discover kind of function where you can see news stories, all very visual, just oh. wonderfully done. So there's a lot of different opportunities. 
Rio Town's a fun place. Thank you very much. This is LCC Radio. We will see everybody next Monday night. We're here in Lansing, Michigan, LCC Radio, WLNZ 89.7. We've been talking with Paul Schmidt of Lansing, Maine, and we will see you next Monday night at 7 o'clock. This has been Lansing Online News Radio with Bonnie and Bill.